idea as Point Lonsdale moves forward. I must admit, I did wonder after Chester whether we'd see him in some sort of headgear, but that's not the case. He is up in trip and he moves forward for Ryan Moore. Five runners for the Dalbury Coronation Cup Group 1 contest, mile and a half, and they jump out. Point Lonsdale is pushed forward by his rider, Ryan Moore, in the early strides, and all of the other runners appear happy enough. Point Lonsdale will do his normal lethargic thing out in front, it would appear, from Westover in second, just looking for a bit of cover, with Tunez towards the outside. Emily Upjohn, who's the one who's happy to sit right at the back, and now moving forward is Hurricane Lane. So as they climb the hill through the first two furlongs, it's Point Lonsdale narrowly flanked by Tunez on the far side, and Hurricane Lane, who continues to move closer, and will now dispute the lead. Westover has some cover now in fourth place, as Hurricane Lane just moves towards the inside, and Emily Upjohn is last of all. So climbing the hill, they have taken their time through the first couple of furlongs. Point Lonsdale and Hurricane Lane are the first two. Tunez towards the outside in the red sleeves. Westover has settled pretty well for him. That's the horse in the pink cap. Judmont silks are green and pink, and Emily Upjohn is last of all. So they've just about now arrived at the highest point of the race course, that punishing climb through the first half mile behind them. Hurricane Lane with Point Lonsdale, who's travelled more fluently this afternoon, sitting alongside the leader. In third place, Westover on the inside of Tunez. And last of all is Emily Upjohn. So now they'll begin the turn. We'll carry them down shortly towards Tattenham Corner. Hurricane Lane leading by a neck. Point Lonsdale in second place. Horse with a white face. Tempo no more than steady at the moment. Westover in third place. Tunez in fourth. And Emily Upjohn continues to watch on from the back of the field as they're now making their way downhill, making the descent towards Tattenham Corner and approaching the final five furlongs of the Dalbury Coronation Cup. Hurricane Lane and William Buick, Ryan Moore and Point Lonsdale forming a little wall in front of Westover and Tunez, who still travels strongly, and then Emily Upjohn as they now make the turn and begin the move into the home straight. It's Hurricane Lane who'll turn for home first in the Coronation Cup by a head or so from Point Lonsdale, Tunez and Westover just looking to angle out underneath Tunez has got room to operate and now Emily Upjohn is asked as well. Westover moving alongside Point Lonsdale, Emily Upjohn gathers a head of steam towards the outside and Frankie Natori has come from last to first. Emily Upjohn strikes two furlongs out. Westover at the moment has a length and a half to find. Point Lonsdale, Hurricane Lane and Tunez have dropped away but it's Emily Upjohn as Westover just hangs towards the running rail as they enter the final furlong and Emily Upjohn three lengths clear now from Westover in second place. Weak in the market, strong in the race. Emily Upjohn, Frankie Natori, another Coronation Cup. She came from last to first, Westover in second, Point Lonsdale, Hurricane Lane and Tunez. Well, Emily Upjohn, unlucky in the Oaks, of course, 12 months ago. She came with that sort of run, but, of course, the incident at the start meant she was coming from a lot further back, and she settled that relatively quickly. Westover stuck on in second, but had no response to that injection of pace, and they have pulled clear from Point Lonsdale, who ran well, but again had no answers when these two went away. And the key point, I suppose, in a quality field is the two put daylight between themselves and their rivals. Another Coronation Cup for Frankie Natori in his final year. Just rolled on for fourth, because Tunez looks as if he has just nutted Hurricane Lane for fourth place. Another Coronation Cup then for...